Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm going to share with you how easy it is to implement component level security in RNSP Designer applications. To begin with, let's look at an existing application. This is the same application we have been following from other videos. So in this particular application, we have some user accounts. In this case, we have Akesh Gupta and John Doe. Akesh Gupta belongs to the user role admins and John Doe belongs to the user role users. And of course, we basically have different accounts. So we have applied some prior video uh, features to this. So by default, depending on the user who's logged in, they're able to see their accounts. The next thing that we would like to implement this uh, in this is the component level security. Of course, you folks have already gone through the security level wizard. In this case, if, when you go through the security level wizard, you can implement uh, whether you want to do the authentication, authorization, and based on what you would like to control, who can see what type of pages, you can easily basically do this uh, particular uh, feature using the wizard. For more information, you can definitely watch uh, some of the security videos on uh, this particular topic uh, which are available. What we are interested in discussing here is that as part of the component level security, we are not talking about a page level security as to which pages you can go and which pages you cannot go. We would like to know that if everyone can go to a single page, how can I control which role can see what type of control? In, in this particular case, what I'm really interested in here is that if a user tries to add or edit, and in this case, in this particular case, we are showing you a social security number. So say for example, by default, only admins are allowed to see social security number, but regular users are not allowed to see social security number. So we would like to implement a component level security. Of course, uh, once you have uh, basically implemented the security, then as you will go to each page and for each control, in the properties of that particular control, you will now definitely have a feature by the name security. As you can see, once you implement the uh, security wizard, every control, whether it's a label, whether it's a field, whether it's a drop down, whether it's a table control, whether it's a record control, you name most of the control, I would say 99% of the controls in RNSP Designer will have a security tab. This is even uh, on, on the menu choices and so on. So in this particular case, I'm going to click on security and by default, it is assigned to everyone. And I can go in and I can say, that this should be only visible to admins only. So as you can see, what I'm trying to do is I'm giving a component level security and the same principle can be applied to any other component. In RNSP Designer, every single thing is almost a component from a table control to a field to a label. So to make the long story short, select a control, whether whichever control you are like to, or you're trying to work with, go to the security in properties, expand the features or the options and pick the roles of which roles you would like them to be able to access and build and let's see what impact it makes. So to validate we will log in as John Doe or we will log in as Akesh Gupta who is admin. Let's basically sign out or sign in as Akesh Gupta. Person is administrator so this way they are allowed to see it I logged in a user account ID, I can go into different accounts, I can go into edit, I can see the social security number. Good, because I'm part of the admins group. John Doe on the other side is part of the users group. So when John Doe logs in, I'm able to see my records, but if I click on the edit button, I'm not allowed to see the social security number. I just want to share with you how easy it was to just go to a particular control, click on a security and pick the whatever role that particular uh, um, control has access. So th this basically is as simple as uh, you just saw. Uh, pick a control, go to security, pick the roles and you're done. I hope you basically uh, are able to visualize how easy it is to implement component level security in RSP Designer. Thanks for watching.